Hey YouTube, Dee's here, and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to put LEDs into your Gundam weapons. I will be using my Hyper Bazooka for my EZ-8 Master Grade model kit. First thing you'll want to do if you've already assembled it is take it apart using your hobby knife. Now once you have all the pieces ready, you're going to want to start to plan where all the parts are going to go. You want to look at the space you're going to have available. Now for parts, um, you're going to need LEDs. I'm using a 3mm red LED. You're going to need resistors. I'm going to be using 100 ohms. And you're going to need batteries. I'm going to use CR927s because they're pretty much the smallest ones you can find. And space is very limited. And wire. A thin wire is ideal, like a 28 gauge. So I'll go more into where to get all the parts you need um, in my parts video. Now that you have all your parts and you've done all your planning, it's start, time to start putting it together. So what I've chosen to do is put the LED in the barrel of the gun, right towards the end. Um, I figured that would work best and there's a good place for it. So what I did was I kind of just wedged the legs in between uh, the peg. What I needed to do later on was shave down just a little bit with my hobby knife, but that's pretty much what I did for that. And let it focus. Alright, so to start, you're going to take your LED. Remember that the longer leg of the LED is the positive terminal. So that's where I'm going to start using white wire as my positive side. Um, so basically you just take the shielding off the end um, about a 3 8 of an inch. And you want to twist um, the wire so that there are no like loose wires. And once you've done that, um, you want to wrap it around to the terminal as tightly as you can. Um, I'm choosing to do this at the very end of the terminal because um, I need as much of the terminal as I can to wrap around that peg. So I chose to do it at that position. Um, there are tools that will wrap your wire around the uh, LED for you, um, but it doesn't really make it much easier and I find doing it by hand actually gets a better result. So once you've wrapped it around um, the terminal, it's time to solder. So what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it towards the very end. So using your soldering iron and some solder, you're just going to put a very small amount of solder at the end of your uh, soldering iron. This will help um, transfer the heat so that it'll just let the solder flow better. So a little bit at the end of your soldering iron is just add solder as you need to until you've um, made a good solder joint and so that the wire is not going to slide off. So my next step is to measure out how much wire I'll need to reach my resistor. Um, it ended up being about a inch or so. So, alright, by lining up um, the next part of the uh, barrel, I was able to uh, figure out where I needed to cut the wire. Um, then I just stripped off about 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm um, doing something very similar to how I soldered the uh, LED. I'm just going to um, solder that piece of wire to my resistor. Or not that piece of wire there, but the uh, piece with the uh, attached to the LED. Um, the only difference is instead of being at the very end of the terminal, I'm doing it as close to the resistor as I can. Um, that's because um, in that middle piece of the barrel, there's only about an inch. And so I need to make this connection as small as possible. 
um, because it needs to fit inside the uh, barrel. Okay, for the next step, you're just gonna, once you've wrapped um, the wire tightly around the resistor, you're just gonna wanna solder it so that it's not gonna move. And after that, you're just gonna wanna um, cut another piece of wire and wrap around the other side and solder that on. Um, what I'm doing here is just gonna clip off the end of the terminal because we don't need it. And this is what it'll look like when you're finished. Um, now for the next part, I want to. Oh, you're gonna need uh, to grab a different color wire. Um, this will be the uh, negative side of the uh, LED in the battery. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring. So it'll be the exact same length. Um, you don't need to add any resistors or anything, any switches onto this wire. So it's just gonna be one long wire. Um, I cut a a little bit extra because I'm going to be trimming the edges to uh, solder it to the LED and the battery. So I just stripped off 3 eighths of an inch, I twist it together, and then just like we did before, wrap it around the very end of the LED, um, giving us as much space to work with as we can. Once we get, uh, once we've got it wrapped around nice and tight, we're just going to solder it um, so that it's not going to move. Um, so once we have finished um, applying the uh, wire to that negative side of the terminal, it's time to um, test and make sure the LED is going to work. And so to do that, you just strip off a little bit of the wire and um, touch the positive side, which is the white wire, to the uh, positive side of the battery and the negative to the negative. And just make sure that the light will turn on. Um, it's pretty simple. And it does. For the next step, um, we need to decide where we're going to put a switch. Um, the place to put it is after the resistor in between the battery, so along the wire right he between here. Um, there's a few options, so join me in part two where we'll discuss um, what to do next.